Hi guys, I'm Sharon at Life with the Tribe. Um, I have been having some technical difficulties lately that have made um, getting a vlog up like super challenging. Um, so hopefully I may have found a um, at least a temporary solution here. Um, we shall see. <laughs> um, so I just kind of, um, since I'm like way behind getting videos up and stuff, I thought I would just kind of do like a little check-in video to let you know what I have been working on. Let me just adjust here for just a second. Yes, okay. So, um, so yes. So I'd been planning on doing a, um, a vlog on books that I read in 2017. Yes, I'm just a wee bit behind since we're, it's getting ready to be February of 2018. I'm just a little bit behind schedule. Um, so I'd planned on doing a video of um, reads of books that we just really enjoyed in 2017. Um, but we do utilize um, our local library um, for a lot of our books. And so I was just having a really hard time getting all the books here to do a video. Um, it was a little bit more difficult than I expected it to be. So I finally decided to just cross that one off the list and just forget about it. But I was able to get up a quick um, blog post listing some of the books. Again, I did not keep a good record of what we read in 2017, unfortunately. Um, but in my blog post, I just did a quick title, author. Um, on some of them, I might have, you know, just typed up a quick little blurb about uh, the book. Um, so I will link that blog post uh, down in the description box and um, so that you can uh, read about those. I, I have one for um, picture books and I have one for um, children's novels. Some that were read alouds and some that were um, books that I just read and then shared with my kids who wanted, who were interested in reading them. So I will link those two blog posts down below. Um, so you can just click on them, go read about what they're about, check out a couple of reviews on them, see if they might be interesting. There were some really great ones on there. Um, the picture book, uh, Don't Blink, is, is great. Uh, you really need to get that one. It's just hilarious. And, um, um, I do have these because I did buy these. I have these. So the um, Outlaws of Time. Let me hold that better. Um, the Song of Glory and the Ghost by N.D. Wilson. It's the second in the Outlaws of Time series. Um, the third one in this series is coming out in 2018. I think spring. Um, so you definitely want to read this. I read. Uh, I read these out loud. All of N.D. Wilson's. Um, children's books I read out loud because we all enjoy them and it's me reading out loud keeps people from spoiling the ending for others <laughs> so um so this was on my list on my blog so definitely read the Outlaws of Time series um, if you haven't and then we also read uh, The Door Before which is a prequel to The Hundred Cupboards which technically is kind of a prequel to um, the Ashtown Burial series as well um, and even though it is a prequel, you don't want to read it first. If you have not read the Hundred Cupboard series, all of it, you need to read all three of those books. It's the Hundred Cupboards, Dandelion Fire, and the Chestnut King. And so you want to read all three of those by Wilson before you read this. Because if you read this first, it's not going to make a whole lot of sense. And you're going to think this is just like a pointless book. So you want to read the Hundred Cupboard series first. I would even suggest that you read the Ashtown Burial series first. Um, I thought one of my children was going to explode while we read The Door Before in 2017 because things that she kind of felt, kind of had, you know, thought might be connected were. <laughs> and so it was really, it was really great to read after you had read all the other books. So I would recommend that you read it after you've read the series. That's the door for. Um, I am still tracking my books for 2018 in my journal. 
Um, I'm going to update it tonight, actually, make sure I have them all in there so that I can do a January 2018 what we're reading. I'm also going to have my children check their journals and make sure they haven't missed anything. We are still doing the uh, Redeemed Readers book challenge for 2018, and so I'm going to also check in with the kids and see, you know, which books they have marked off on their list. This is to, to, to track everything that we read. And then we have our printout for Redeem Reader where we um, write down the books that meet those categories um, so we can check those off. So I'm going to check in with everybody, see how they're doing here at the end of January, make sure that I am being diligent and write all my books down um, and stuff. And um, so here's an interesting way, like if you're, you know, wanting to read a certain type of book but you don't have a specific title and you're just kind of, what am I going to read for this? I need a biography. I need a mystery. Find me something. So here's what I did. And here's where you really learn if you've taught your children how to find really good books, right? So we're at the library a few days ago and um, my 17-year-old had sat down in the biography section and it's a smaller branch of a larger system and so their selection on shelf is not always the best. Um, so we do request a lot of books and just pick them up there but so she was um, just sitting there just browsing biographies and she picked one about a lady that she knows absolutely nothing about, had never heard of her before and so she's reading that, She's got, that's going to be one of her biographies and then I can't remember what the other uh, one is we're all reading well me and a couple of my teen girls are reading the diary of Anne Frank um so then I um I think it was my daughter Lydia who is 14 asked if she could pick me out a mystery book so she she picked one and it looked really interesting it was set in the time period that I love unfortunately it was not the first and so we felt we should read the first and now I cannot remember the name but anyway, we've requested the first book in the series. I will read it. She enjoys mysteries as well. It is an adult book. So after I read it, if there's nothing, you know, inappropriate in there, then I'll give it to her to read. And maybe we'll find a new, um, a new mystery series to read. We do like some mysteries in the house. And then I had my 17-year-old. I said, find me a biography. And so she mentioned a couple, and I was just like, I just really don't think I would read those. And so I said, okay, look, next one you pick, I'll read it, okay, um, no matter if I'm interested in the people or not. And so this is what I got. <laughs> and I actually haven't read it before, and I started it last night, and I think it's going to be really good. Um, can you really go wrong with C.S. Lewis? I don't think you can. So I'm going to be reading this for one of my biographies. I have a mystery that I'll be ready to pick up tomorrow uh, to read um, because these will be used. These are for my redeemed reader because I am doing, even though it's a children's and teen challenge, I'm doing it with my kids. I'm trying to get the Grand Slam, which is 100 books. And so I need some mysteries. I need some biographies. And I thought maybe if I tackle... Um, like biographies are hard for me. I enjoy reading them if I can find just the right one. I do want to read a trilogy on Winston Churchill. And here's the funny thing, okay? So I use two library systems. One's kind of small and then one's kind of big. So I go to the online catalog for the smaller one and they have like the second book and the three volumes set on Churchill, but just the second. And so I go to the larger library and they have the third book in the three book set on Winston Churchill. Neither one had the first book. So I'm going to see if I can get an interlibrary loan because I don't want to buy it. I think it would be very interesting and it sounds extremely interesting, but I don't want to invest in it until I know that it's something that like we would read and it would, you know, be worth having on the shelf. So um, I can't even remember the name of it right now. So I'll see if I can get out of your library loan. And then that would be a, like a long read for about, for one of my biographies because three books, it's not going to be a quick read, I don't think. Okay, so is there anything else I need? Oh, 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 oh. And um, for uh, Christmas, I got these book darts. And I have to tell you, 
I wasn't too sure. I wanted them, and I asked for them, and I got them, and I wasn't too sure if I was going to like them, but I really do, and I had this book, and I had book darts all in it, and I forgot to take them out when I went to return the book to the library, and so the librarian was kind enough to pull them all out for me. And I tossed them in the bottom of my bag. And then a few days later, I went back to the library. And one accidentally kind of got hooked on a book I was returning. And it was a different librarian. And so I said, oh, that's my book dart. I'm so sorry. And she was like, what? So I had to explain book darts to the librarian. And she just thought it was fascinating. Um, so I think this was just like a fun little splurge gift for me. See, they're so little. And they don't snag my pages, and they don't leave little crimp marks. I love them. I do. Simple little things make me so happy. So there, this is where we're going. I'm having technical difficulties. I have extremely slow internet, and those two things combined has made vlogging next to impossible. Um, go check out my blog for the books that we read in 2017, because we did really read some really great ones. There's some great suggestions in there. If you have boys, there's great suggestions in there. If you have girls, there's great, there's books in there that would be great if you had like a struggling reader, a reluctant reader. Um, so definitely go look at that. And I will, I'm going to try to get a blog post up with the adult fiction books that I read. And if I get that up, I will come back and link that down in the description box below as well. So there you go. This is kind of how life is going for me right now. It's busy. It's crazy. I'm extremely tired. And I'm trying to read. And it's really hard to find time to read. But I'm trying. And what else? I'm also working on updating our homeschool stuff because... Our year didn't end well because of life, and so I'm trying to fix all that. Um, what else? Oh, and in uh, older uh, homeschool tag thing about the new school year or whatever, I mentioned giving up Dr. Pepper. I changed my mind. I'm not giving it up because I, I, I just don't want to right now. So that's... That's something I've let go. That dream of being caffeine free is gone. Bye bye. Okay, so I think that's it. So hey, um, <laughs> this is a really um pointless video, sort of. So you may not want to give it a thumbs up, but I'd love a thumbs up if uh, if you can understand where I'm coming from, right? And if you're not a subscriber, I would love some more subscribers. So hit the subscribe button. It'll probably be up here somewhere. And um, I'll hopefully be back in the next few days with an updated video on uh, the books that we have enjoyed in January. Um, so yeah, so I think that's it. So you know what, guys? Fix your cup of coffee, glass of sweet tea, some Dr. Pepper, grab some chocolate, I don't know, a granola bar, protein bar, I don't know, whatever you want, a glass of water, be healthy, and uh, enjoy a good book. Just take 15, 20 minutes and have a little read. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to read a little bit of Surprised by Joy. I might do my heart good today. And I think I might go read Psalm 19. That was preached on today at church by my husband. <laughs> and um, I think I might need to go read that again. Anyway, this is taking way longer than I'd planned. So I'm out of here, guys. I'm going to get me a drink. I'm going to grab my book stuff and, um, and well, we'll just do this little chat again soon, hopefully. All right. Catch you guys later.